Hey, what's going on, Scorpio? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you your general energy update for today. All right, so if you are a cross watcher, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you. Everyone else, please flip the roles as you see fit. Please use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video. Everything in the message may not resonate, but however, take what you need and you leave what you don't, okay? I'm tapping into a lot of people's energy, so you got to keep in mind that we're all on different timelines. Um, I am a healing and manifestation channel. My goal is to help you to evolve. So if you're feeling triggered by anything that's being said in this video, please check in with your higher self. All right. Now I'm going to set my intentions and then I'll get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides for helping me with this collective reading for Scorpio. Protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as the messenger. And so it is. All right. So I have three cards that are already laid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull tarot. So the first card that came out was community. Next card is patience. Next card is first chakra. So what I'm seeing here with the community card is that you possibly are networking, um, getting out in the community, connecting with your friends, connecting with people who are like-minded, like um, people who support you, people who love you. Like This is a good card because it feels like a card of celebration as well. But what I'm saying with that patience card is that now you're moving into like this peaceful state, okay? Because there's something here that you you had to let go of, all right? And it may have made you feel very impatient and all, but now you're more open to the options that are available to you. Um, and you may feel safe or stable at this point too with that first shock or whatever that's around, or you could be trying to build some type of stability for yourself, okay? Especially when it comes to long term. Tell me about the community card. What's this community card about? So what I got so far with the, I'm gonna do it again because I hate for my cards to touch the floor, y'all. So tell me about the community card. <clears throat> If that card comes out again, because I keep seeing it, Two of Cups. So the card that I kept seeing was the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And this Two of Cups is in a reverse position too. So it could be someone you have family by. Um, could be literally a person or a connection that you have um, with someone. Okay, you may have had a strong bond at one time before, but now it's, come, it's some kind of imbalance between you two. Okay, thank you. Let me see. It's like you're not clicking well with this person. This may be why you are now starting to um, open up to some other options. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles comes out in an upright position here. So what I'm saying here is that right now you're trying to manifest your goals, right? Because you don't feel so successful or you don't feel supported with the six of swords in a reverse position. Whatever that feeling may be, it's like you're trying to do some things, okay? And you're ready to be recognized, acknowledged, or take a relationship to the next step, whatever that may be, right? And what I see here, though, I feel like it's more connected to earthly matters, um, whatever that is that you're trying to manifest, right? But however, within this partnership here that you have, there's an imbalance, Um you guys may not be agreeing to some degree. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. You got Page of Wands in the reverse position comes out. So you're trying to express some things. And it's, it has a lot to do with your ideas. You just don't really know how to put them into action. This is why I feel like you may be eager right now to execute these things. So you're going out into your community. You're going out and connecting with other folk to do it. Right. The world card comes out in the upright position because you're trying to achieve a goal. So whatever that goal may be, you want your efforts to pay off. Right. It seems like that will make things come full circle for you so that you'll be able to take this leap of faith into a whole totally different direction okay now let me see what this patience card is representing here tell me about the patience what is scorpio being patient about the patience card. do it again tell me about the patience card Five of Wands in the reverse. So there was some type of conflict. And what I'm seeing is that you want a peaceful resolution. 
okay? Yeah. You're trying to use your intuition with this. Five of Wands in the reverse. Either you want to be able to recover from this or you want a peaceful resolution or you're just tired of conflict, right? But the thing is, it's like whatever it is that's burdening you with the Ten of Wands in a reverse position, you may be just carrying that burden on your own. You're not getting support. You're not asking for help um, or you weren't, okay, if this is past energy for you. But what I see with the High Priestess in an upright position, something must have been telling you, your intuition, okay, like, hey, wait, you may need to go in a different direction. You may need to... Um, be open to some other options okay you may have been searching for some stuff online to get some answers right or how to do something is what's coming to me and whatever your goal may have been okay i do see someone could have been like not really as committed as you are to that goal okay but overall, what I see here with the Temperance card coming out, which is a lot to do with the Patience card, is almost the same as that card, right? As you can see, it's some balance being brought into your situation. It's almost as like these angelic guides here are working behind the scenes to bring that balance, right? But it's requiring patience overall as you are going into this new beginning, okay? Again, you're, you're literally... Embarking on a whole new journey here. Tell me about the first chakra. Yep, King of Pentacles. And it's about, it could be a lot, have a lot to do with your money, Scorpio. King of Pentacles is very abundant and very prosperous. Okay, tell me about the King of Pentacles. It's like you're trying to, and that's what I see. It's about long-term goals. It's, you're trying to create this comfortable lifestyle for yourself. And that's what you're committed to. Yeah, because the world card is in the reverse. Because you feel like you're missing something. It's like you may have achieved a whole lot. But it's like, mm, it's still something missing. <laughs> okay? Still something that I need to do. You're very close. You're not there yet. But you are close. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Anything else? It may have you a little anxious, okay? Well, I'm seeing that. Definitely see us. I see the uh, four swords card keep flashing before my eyes. So you may be a little anxious here when it comes to creating this, right? Because whatever happened, you may have been going through some type of hardship um, financially. It could have been a financial loss. Um, and it caused a lot of disappointment. It may have affected your family to some degree. I got the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And then I have the Five of Pentacles in a reverse position. So whatever difficult times you were going through or are going through, I'm seeing that they're temporary. Okay. And they're coming to an end. So things are going to improve. It's definitely improving. If that's is if it's happening for you right now, like you're literally getting ready to see a whole different shift. And it has a lot to do with now you're becoming more patient. All right. And that's what I'm saying. You letting go of whatever that desperation was now and you're moving into a state of peace. And this is why the universe is now able to co-create with you. All right. Because you're letting go of the worry, the stress, the anxiety, the fear, right? The low vibrational energy. Tell me what I need to see here for. Go for y'all. Yeah, occupation. You're focusing on that. Literally. You're focusing on um, mastering something is what I'm also hearing. Or you may just work a lot. And you're making certain decisions here with the adjudication card. You're trying to make decisions here that are fair. Also what I'm saying with that. Some of you may need a mediator with some cert with something. Okay, where it may have to be a judge involved. But overall, I see a lot of changes. Okay. Some of you may be moving, taking a journey somewhere. Bags is packed. All right. Ready to get up out of there. It's a lot of things that are changing. You may be even just um, changing a mindset. It's also what I'm seeing with that. Your initials may be C or M. But however, here, what I'm saying is like you're letting go of the old and making room for the new is what just came to me. You may have been doing a lot of self-evaluation and everything trying to figure out, figure this situation out for yourself. I feel like someone may have even been feeling very distant from those of you who are connected to you, family, friends, loved ones. Yep, the community. 
Because there go that card again. Okay, so let me get some advice for you guys. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Oop. So you're asking, you're being asked to pray, all right, about the situation. Ask for help and know that you are powerful and that you are not a victim. Continue to focus on your solutions and not your problems. Okay, so keep an open mind. And I feel like, you know, if you're not shifting into a peaceful state about your situation, you should. It's time to make a decision. You may want to write down your feelings, okay, your thoughts, so that you can clearly express yourself if you're not able to communicate with other people. Some of you are following your life purpose because this is your life purpose. You feel like you're missing something and you want to go after it because you are. <laughs> you know, when you're not fulfilling your purpose in life, you're going to keep getting the call until you answer. All right, so it's time to make a decision. Let's see what that's about. Oh, you know what that says? Take your time and make a decision. It don't say it's time. Take your time. You're ex you've asked about a situation where there's confusion or indecision. And this card is a sign that you shouldn't rush into anything. More information will be revealed as time passes, which will naturally guide your actions. There's no need to force anything right now. The opportunity will not go away if you don't jump on it immediately. And others will wait for you. Okay? It's your decision. And your best course of action is to slow down and take your time. Other possible meanings. Don't sign the contract just yet. Remember, I felt like I said some of you may have to do something before a mediator or judge. They may have to, you may have to negotiate something. But take your time and make that decision. Don't sign the contract just yet. Negotiate a better deal. Slow down the speed of a relationship if it's new. Ask more questions before saying yes. Investigate your options. And that's what you're doing. With this patience card, you're actually literally now open to some other options that are available to you or you should be. OK, so that you can initiate some type of action. And then it says, don't be pressured by other people as they are only thinking of themselves. OK, so you can ask Archangel Michael to help you stay strong and relax as you approach the situation. Remind you to detach and step back, allowing your situation to naturally unfold and then just like, thank you for protecting me, okay? And whatever you're feeling, if you're feeling overly emotional about it, take and journal this stuff down here so that you can begin to express yourself clearly. And even with your ideas and your creativity, sometimes we have all this stuff in our mind, but we don't know how to take action on it, okay? Um, but overall, I, I feel like I should pull one more card for you guys because I do hear something, but I don't want to just let y'all go just yet. One second. I need to see here if it's going to be. Yeah, I got that feeling of like something. You still feel a little incomplete. Thank you. It's still saying to ask. So you're going to have to pray about this. But I'm, I'm going to still pull from one more deck because I still feel that feeling of incompleteness. It says, ask to help you in this situation. Your angels will immediately go to work on your behalf. They're governed by many universal laws and among them is free will. That allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So they are patiently awaiting your request. Okay. Shaman, trust in higher forces. Yeah, ask. Trust in the divine, trust in yourself, surround yourself with protective energy and connect with your emotions. And this is why it's telling you to write it down. OK, so let me read to you the shaman card. And I feel like that may be it right there. That's going that's going to seal the deal for y'all. OK, let me see. It says, trust in your angels, your guides, and ancestors. If you have given your power away, claim it back. There are spiritual allies working in your favor, and their miracles will unfold much more easy when you move into a state of trust. 
So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you allow them to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realm and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way. All right. You want balance to your situation? X. Okay. Again, both the patience card, the temperance card, both shows the same exact thing and actually mean the same exact thing in a book. There are some other options available to you. Be open to receive them. If you are not open at this point and you are feeling in this energy of desperation or feeling like something is missing, um, get down, get still, sit down and get still is what I just heard. Sit down and get still, Scorpio. Okay, and begin to pray. That's it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I will catch you guys next week. Thank you once again. Peace.